We are back on the Pocket Pixels Red server, ready to throw down with some Pixelmon today, baby. I'm very excited. If you guys haven't played Pixelmon, we just set up brand new fresh servers, baby. It was amazing. You guys go to getpixelmon.com, play for free today on the Pocket Pixels Red server, and have some fun. I did do a live stream the other day where a couple cool things happened. Primarily, the main thing was evolving Mojito here. Ice, okay, he's he's got his Calyrex up for, for uh, you know, negotiation here. I'm gonna trust this guy. <laughs> I love Shawnee Scissor. I think I might rename it to Mojito, actually. And uh, look at that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rename it to Mojito. And that was a, a very flawless trade, so thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna name it Mojito. And I have Bullet Punch now. Oh, uh, this dude's Char, Char is hooking it up right now and just gonna give me the items, so thank you. You just do this and then you, I'll level up and I'll, um, and I'll EV train like simultaneously. So, so Mythic gives you like really cool things to go get good stuff and like shrines, things like that. So let's do the Mythic. Oh, yo, it's like a new, a new animation. I got an Azur flute. I got an Elex shrine, yo. Celebi, here I come. This new crate system is sick. Three rare crate keys, let's get it. Two Destiny Knots, we out here. I should give that Destiny Knot to that other dude. More Destiny Knots. <laughs> I got an Elex Shrine and then a Zerf Flute. A Moltres Shrine, okay. So I'm like getting myself ready to go. And then the item up tickets. So the, where's the rare one? This is the rare one. The rare one is like, yeah, move tokens are so big. Give me move tokens. 2,500 claim blocks, let's get it. Let's get it. A rare pickaxe, okay, less exciting. Elex Shrine again? Oh my god, I'm gonna get so many Celebes. Oh, I got cash. That's why it didn't show anything. I got cash. Got it. More claim blocks! Another pick. No, don't do that to me. Come on now. More pickaxes! A nature token. We take those. We take those. Those are good. Silver hourglasses. I think that's for breeding. Not bad. Okay, overall not bad, overall not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, you know, he's level 14, nothing else happened. I had zero luck getting anything to happen for me. No shinies, nothing. But I do have, alas, some shiny boost tokens and many strong shiny lures and all sorts of fun stuff. So we're gonna do a little, little, little smidge of shiny hunting. And I really wanna take on that first gym today. So that's gonna be the plan. Let's have some fun, baby. Also, I have done zero work to set up my house. Hopefully next week we will do a little live stream. Do a little house action, but as you can see, the A Drive Village has come into full fruition, and you guys can come to my cords, uh, 2093, 90, 21, 892, or something like that. And uh, I gotta still load in some of the world, but very cool stuff everyone has built. I mean, I should get some of y'all to come and build my house for me. I mean, look at this. Where are we going? We are going all the way up into the very tippy top mountains for Connor here. This is crazy, bro. What did you? What did you? Oh, tell me he made like an arena. This guy had so many claim blocks, Connor. You're a legend. I don't even know what to tell you. This is extra and very, very cool. All right, I'm popping a shiny boost token. I'm gonna try this thing called the item up ticket. Now, this was given to me on the server if I don't fall down and get lost. This was given to me and I think they're actually really cool. I'm pretty sure you use them and then you get rare items and then you can keep going and getting even rarer items. And it just seems like a, a fun thing altogether. So let's try it out. I'm gonna click the item up ticket and it says, okay, you stop at any point and claim the item or let the game go and go for better prizes. You get higher rewards. Upon losing a round, you receive an item up fragment and then you can get a brand new ticket. So let's do it, play item up. Oh, here's the rewards. Uh, it's being a little weird, the rewards, but we're gonna just play the game. Okay, so current prize is 32 dust balls and I can stop the game Okay, it's still going, it's still going. So my current prize is the PB Max, then I can get a power weight. I see how this goes. So you say, okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna take the power weight or I can take the power bracer. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. This is actually really cool. Okay, I see how it works now. I can get a float, an Everstone or I take the bracer. I guess I'll, I'll keep going. Neither of these are all that crazy to me. Now I can get a random summer form uncommon. That's tempting. I'm definitely gonna go for that. Now I can have a random summer form uncommon again. I'm gonna stop the game. I'm gonna stop the game. I'm gonna take my current prize. I won a random summer form. I don't know what that does. Okay, so let's see what we get from that item up ticket. The random summer form is gonna be a summer Snorlax, dude. <laughs> let's go, man. Look at him. Yo, Justin's time. Summer's over, but Snorlax is ready for the beach. No doubt about it, baby. That's actually so hype. All right, I'm gonna try item up again. 
And let's see. So we start off with the Dust Bowl, and then the next one is coins. So we could just keep going and see what happens. All right, next one is a power band. You know, I have a couple of things, but I, I kind of think I should keep going. All right, then I can get a power weight. Okay, so it looks like I lost that one and I get a ticket fragment. So I got played. All right, I'm addicted. Let's do it again. I can get a thousand claim blocks or some coins. We're gonna keep going. Okay, now I can get dust balls, which are whatever. Now I can get quick balls, also whatever. And now I can get an orb. I think I'm gonna skip the orb too. And now 64 rare candies, which is a pretty good prize, but I kind of feel like I should just keep trying it and see if we can keep going further. And now Everstone, uh, the rare candies are definitely better than the Everstone, but I think I'm still gonna see. I'm feeling risky. Okay, random altar form up next, okay. I gotta wait for it. We just gotta get to that altar form and I'm definitely taking it. Okay, I'm taking the ult I'm, I'm taking the altar form. Okay, random altar form, what is it gonna be? Yes! Yes, dog, let's go! Altar Shininja. Bro, 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 let's go, dog. It's over. It's over. I'm so hyped. I'm actually so pumped about that. That is very, very epic. Bye. Wonder Guard, terrible moves. Hardy Nature, doesn't matter. Here's our Quiet Nature Snorlax. That, that's, I would say, big wins overall. Now I'm gonna use these Shiny Boost Tokens, kind of explore the Safari, which is a really great place to Shiny Hunt. These Boost Tokens give me a one in 300 chance to get a Shiny. And if the Pokemon get purged and stuff, we have better chances. And the newest update added things like Gigaton Balls and Quick Balls and Jet Balls and I guess Quick Balls are already in it, but you know what I mean with the Gigaton and the Jet. So some really cool Pokeballs that we can utilize and we'll see if we can find any Shinies or anything really cool to get us ready for that first gym. Oh, and I just got a reminder that dailies are a thing. So let's take a look at our daily rewards and I guess I'll take my 12 rare candies. Yo, peep that, a wild Vaporeon, you gotta love that and a wild crustal and a shiny wingle just spawned on moshi i don't know where moshi is but i'm definitely in a location where a shiny wingle could spawn so let's keep our eyes out oh wow this is a new biome in safari called the end and this is a very cool area wow this is a new addition this wasn't there before absoles everywhere drampa yeah, I'm definitely hunting here. This is the spot. Oh, there's another place. I had no luck in the other place, obviously. But there's a new place in the safari called the Nether as well. So multiple new areas in the safari that I did not know existed. And this place looks so sick, dude. Yo. Actually so cool. That's a Gengar, man. Okay, I'm really excited. A Dusclops. Level 29, okay. 31, keep an eye on the levels. Look at that, dude. Dreepy, Sableye, Chimchar, really cool stuff. Blue Flames, and a Wild Umbreon too. Very cool. Ooh, okay. This is a level 20 Gengar. I'm definitely going for it. I definitely want this on my team. Let's see if we can catch it real quick. I do have some Quick Balls. So let's throw one of those out there and see if I can get a level 20 Gengar, which I think would be good against the first gym. The first gym's grass. Could potentially have some uh, different poison type moves. Could be pretty spicy, let's see. Okay, so he breaks free. Uh, I have no way to actually hurt him. So let's try an Ultra Ball, I guess. Okay, I caught the Gengar and it took a really long time to do. Has Cursed Body, no ribbons, Quiet Nature, which is pretty bad, but Overall, not the worst. Uh, Dark Pulse and, and, and Shadow Punch and Lick. So overall, not like crazy good, but not too bad either. I'm gonna name you Casper. Casper. Uh, she's gonna be great. And I'm excited that we have a Gengar. I think this will be a good Pokemon. Um, I like Gengar and going into the first gym with a Gengar feels pretty strong. So no luck on any Shinies or anything. I think I have one more boost token. So I'll probably poke around a little bit more in the Safari. See if maybe something else uh, strikes my eye. Need to get to three Pokemon for the um, for the gym. So I think just one more and then we'll get some training going. Here's a level 31 Fortress. If this was 25, I would be all over it. Okay, so I just saw that a legendary had spawned 
And I think it spawned on gym one. I'm actually kind of curious if it's going to be over here. I don't think I'm the only one here either looking for it. So apparently the Latias is here at gym one, but I do not know where. I do not know how high up it could be. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, I found the Lottie. Level 70 though. I don't, I don't think there's any chance I can actually get it. But I'm gonna try. I, I actually found it legit too. Everyone's looking for it. Oh no, this guy found it too! At the same time! No! Well, the guy ended up catching the laddie and uh, it's all good, man. What are you gonna do? I spent too much time talking to you guys about it as opposed to trying to catch it myself. And that guy just came out of nowhere and uh, congratulations, I'm a little salty. All right, my shiny luck has just been uh, non-existent today. So I found a Taylo. I'm gonna chuck a quick ball at it, hopefully catch it. And that'll be my, uh, you know, third uh, Pokemon, hopefully for the gym. Uh, Gut Swallow would be really good if I gave it like a Flame Orb. It would be really strong uh, and super fast and should be able to kind of shred the gym. So we'll see if we catch this thing. I did catch the Taylo and we'll see if it has Guts. It does have Guts and it's lax, which is pretty bad. Um, no ribbon, but I think we can work with it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna box these two here And I'm gonna rock with these three because they have to be 25. I'm gonna get them in 25 and I'm gonna EV train them or at least EV train the The Taylor because I don't think I have the items to EV train Gengar. I really like this EV hub as well It's uh, super clean easy to use you just pick the stat you want you head over here And then I just battle this dude a few times with this Taylor. All right I'm gonna get everyone to 25 and see what kind of moves they'll learn double team meh and Taylo here is gonna be named Taylo Swift. Gonna evolve into a Swellow, no problemo here at level 22. All right, Taylo Swift, we've got Casper and Mojito. All level 25, let's go get some items for them. Okay, I'm over here teaching my Pokemon some moves and there is a boss, Shiny Pidgey, just straight chilling behind me. I guess I'm gonna try to get it if he doesn't just fly away from me. Come here, buddy. There we go, level 75, dude, what? What? He's gonna just one-shot everything. Maybe he can't hit Casper though. I just gave Casper Sludge Bomb. Yeah, he has Gus. I lived. If I poison him, there's a chance. I did poison him. I did poison him. There's a chance. I'm not saying it's a good chance, but there's a chance. I'll go for Bullet Punch. Maybe he just goes for like... He went for Gus. Um, I think I'm not gonna beat him. Yeah, he quick attacks me. But I, I, th I think it might be uh, beatable actually if I Poke Heal. And um... I don't know where he went though. Oh, there he is. Let's go. If I grab my um, if I grab my Snorlax maybe, and my Shedinja maybe. Let's see. Okay, so I got Taylor Swift out here again. I'm gonna just go for Growl and hope he doesn't KO me. He just gusts me. That's fine. Casper comes out. The the poison was the big thing, so I have to land the poison again. I don't actually live, but I do stop his gust this time, so he no longer has gust. So maybe if I go Shedinja. And I, uh, I can't really do anything. There's a metal claw. Yeah, he can't hit me. Yeah, this is not, uh, this is not a winning battle. I don't, I don't see how I win this, to be honest. All right, I've definitely given up on that Pidgey. All right, let's get this party started. He sends out his Pokemon. I send out mine. He's gonna leave things off with a Whimsicott to get things kicked off. Uh, to me, we just click Bullet Punch. Uh, he's gonna Tailwind, so he's gonna get some speed on his team. I get a nice bullet punch off and I'm gonna knock him down pretty low and then I think I just bullet punch again So he doesn't get any damage off on me. So one down uh, Two to go. Let's see what else he's got. I gotta let that tailwind run out. It's gonna be a Ludicolo I actually don't mind this because bug bite does a ton if he sets up rain dance or something And I'm pretty sure I live a hit because I have max HP. So not super scared He says you dare hurt my beloved grass Pokemon. He goes for fake out. Good play. Good play But I will uh, I will definitely get a little bit of health back. I'll be back to full with leftovers uh, my bug Pokemon will destroy your grass types. We're gonna go play into the anime theme. Um, he's gonna go for the Drain Punch Ludicolo here. That's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna get the Bug Bite here and just straight up one shot Ludicolo. Tailwind's gone. We're feeling good. Two down. I still have a Gengar and a, sh and a, and a Swellow to beat this gym. He says, bah, you bug catchers are all the same. He's not ready. And an executor, oh, it's over. Forget it, forget it. GG's, it was nice playing against you. Oh dear, grass trainer. But I will definitely take the badge this time. There is no doubt in my mind. As soon as he attacks, this thing's gone. Uh, if it was like, um, if it was like the Alolan one, 
then I'd be scared, but I don't think he gets any any moves. Yeah, we just... <laughs> He had Rocky Helmet. That was that was uh that was easy peasy, man. I just I beat it with my starter. GG's and uh I'll take it. I'll take it. Not too shabby. My first badge is down. I may have lost the laddie, but at least I uh at least I got the badge. So that's cool. That's pretty cool, right? And thank you to everybody who watched our incredible battle. And there it is. I got my gym badge. All right, and now it's time for us to try out some of these crates. I got uh, something. What do I have? I have the uh, Shattered Reality might have been last week, so I don't know if that's going to work unless they're over here. It might be over here. Oh, yeah, here's the Shattered Reality crate, which has, oh, yeah, okay, all of these, which is pretty dope. And then I've got, what else do I have? Raging Titan and Dawn of Adventure. So Raging Titan gives you all of these, which are very cool. And then Dawn of Adventure gives Rainbow Ho-Oh. So there's that. Let's do it. Dawn of Adventure. Let's get this party started. Look at the new crate animation. It's so good. It's actually so good. It's very different. It does this like crazy spinning amazing thing that's happening and what did I get I have no idea I got a shiny Riolu I got a shiny Riolu and somehow I got a I don't know someone sent me a Faramosa I don't know thanks for the Faramosa I guess but I, I'm more interested in the Riolu that I just got a shiny Riolu level 19 mild nature not bad right, let's try it again let's try it again let's see what we got here in this next crate and I got the Shani Hisui and Zoro. That's what I was hoping for. Level 11, Shani Hisui and Zoro. I mean, it's hard to beat that. That is actually top tier. Like, the top of top tier. Look at it. Look at it in it's all its glory. So good, dude. All right, let's spin that wheel right round, right round. What do we got next? And I got a Shani Beldum. I got a Shani Beldum. Dude, actually, tell me how I got some really good stuff. Shiny Beldum, Sassy Nature, okay. All right, what do we got? What's gonna fly towards me? Shiny Riolu! I got another Shiny Riolu. All right, let's try it one more time. This is my last one, this is my last one. All right, what is it, what is it? I don't know. Oh, it's a Zora again, I got another Zora. So, nothing too crazy, man. I got a couple Zoras, I got uh, Beldum. Not too shabby, you guys can go to shop.pocketpixels.net, try out some of these keys yourself. And we got our first gym badge, so I'm already feeling great. Stay tuned for our next live stream. I'm going to be working on my house and continue to play Pixelmon. You guys can always play for free at getpixelmon.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.